Hello people. Um, yeah, um, this is going to be kind of a two-part video. First of all, it's going to be an update. Here's Tyler. Um, he Hello, is the people. one recording the vlogs. I have to explain why I've not been doing the vlogs and that's because I'm lazy. So, if you want to see vlogs about what we're doing, head over to Tyler's channel because he's, yeah, he's recording like every single day. So, that's perfect. Um, the other thing is I bought this uh, phone. It's a Samsung Infuse 4G. I bought it from the starts, and uh, he has two, but yeah, he sold me one. Because I'm I, desperate. <laughs> uh huh. I bought it for sixty-three dollars, and hopefully. Vlogception. Yeah, vlogception. I bought it for sixty-three dollars, and hopefully sixty cents eventually, because six three six Brent. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I have been messing with this thing along with John L five, aka John Coat. Um, he helped me a lot with the. Um, the flashing of the ROMs. This had 2.2 Froyo on it when I got it. Well, you want yeah, that? yeah, that'll that'll work. Um, this had Froyo on it when I had like I first got it from the starts, and it was really really slow and buggy and crappy. You couldn't even log into the Google Play Store anymore because support was dropped for Froyo like what three months ago. That's his opinion of it. After, they actually like, over twenty minutes. I think over three months ago. Yeah. Okay then. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, but now. After countless, um, you know, uh, issues, we had to flash the 2.3.5 ROM with custom recovery. Then we had to flash CM9, which is 4.0. Yeah. Then we had to like do. We had a bunch of obstacles, but yeah, long story. We saw a gingerbread bootloader because we got a like yeah. a bad. We got like an error on the recovery. Like it was like a rainbow screen. Yeah. So we had to do that, and then long story short, we finally got on 4.4 KitKat. Uh, this is. What's this called again? Uh, Cyan Fox? Yeah, it's Cyan Fox 4.4.2. Yeah, so we're on the latest firmware. Or no, 4.4.4 is the latest, but we're pretty close to the latest firmware. And it's running beautifully. This is a single core, 512 megabyte RAM. And it's running like. I mean, it's running almost perfectly. Not far from my Nexus, just in general. Seriously, and this phone was made like three years ago, and it's just running it's really well. Yeah. yeah, and it's just running darn smooth and on 2.2 it was just laggy you could tell it was a single core but right now it's just I mean it's really really on the fluid 2.3 ROM which was like deep deodexed and stuff it ran yeah it was okay on the 2.3 too but I mean it's just really quick it, especially when you're not like downloading apps or anything in the background it's just really really fast and fluid so I mean yeah I'm glad I got this actually because my only other Android phone is that HTC one and it's lo and it's locked to boost so if I ever need to use a separate phone in case my iPhone takes a dump or something I can use this and it won't be total crap so I'm very happy with you know how this turned out so yeah and again I'd like to thank John Coat for helping me John L5 go check him out and I'd also like to thank Starts for making me pizza in the process so <laughs> yeah there you guys go. Oh, that's just a little um, Can't update do video. Anything about pizza. Yeah, Fuel. got a pizza and thermal paste. Oh yeah, got some <laughs> Arctic Silver Five right Inside here. Side jokes. Exactly. <laughs> well, anyway, um, yeah, I'm also using Tyler's JVC camcorder for this. So. Yeah, exactly. There we go. So hopefully the video is really nice. Anyway, catch you guys later.